All right, so I'm going to be using the Dyson V10 Animal to vacuum out the car right here. And so right here I have, I'm in the back, the trunk space of this. You can see there's a lot of uh, dirt right here, a lot of sand on here. And I'm gonna show you uh, this Dyson V10 Animal vacuuming the uh, sand up into this part right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm just gonna set this down right here. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and look at this vacuum right here so i'm going to use an attachment i have a couple of attachments that i'm going to use i have this one right here this rotating brush right here it's the miniature brush that i'm going to be using i'm also going to be using this right here this is gets cracks and crevices right here and then i am going to be using this brush right here which also has a little suction action room going on right there and I can also use this to brush things into place right here so let me go ahead and attach things together so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this right here it's in place right here so this is the rotating brush let's see how well it picks up I have it on boost mode right here and so when I use this it actually rotates a little bit it swivels and let's see how it gets up some of this dirt right here so let me go ahead and try this right here so it's gonna go Gonna get up pretty nicely. It goes back and forth. And it's just like a regular vacuum cleaner, it feels like it's getting up a lot of the dirt with this rotating brush right here. See it rotating right here? It's getting a lot of dirt. But I want to try something like this brush right here. See how well it gets up when I use this. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. Now you attach it like this by coming up to it and pushing it in and it clicks into place. And then this brush right here, I can actually close down to get a little bit of brushing action or just the suction action right here. Let's see how well this does on a different area. All right, so I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna use it without the brush first. I'm just gonna go ahead and just go down. So it, it gets it up pretty well, but not as good as uh, when I have this attachment on it right here. So this attachment may be good with seats, but on flat surfaces, wide surfaces, it seems like this rotating brush is better than this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the flipping part, on the brushing part right here. Not as well, but I'm able to get a lot of the dirt from out of the corner by simply brushing it like this and then it sucks up. I'm gonna go ahead and detach that and then I'm gonna put on the corner attachment right here. And let's see how well this goes. This does really well, but the surface area is small so it may take a lot of time in order to do something like it would for the rotating brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rotating brush. Maybe I'll get a little bit of corner right here. I'm gonna get the rotating brush and then I'm going to go ahead and slap this on. And you can see right here the dirt coming inside of the container right here. And so I'm gonna attach that. And then let's see, let me show you again how it gets up the dust. So I'm gonna go. So this is really good for large areas. I'm gonna sweep over to this side right here so you can get a little bit more action going right here. So I'm getting a little bit more action right here. Yeah, so for the large areas, this does a phenomenal job. a little bit more right here I'm gonna get right at the front
does a phenomenal job. But then there comes areas like this right here, and you want to get some of the dirt and dust from out of that. And so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to actually attach this one right here, connect it in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take this, just like that. And so, yeah, the tactics work pretty well. I think I'm next I'm going to get inside on the seats and see how well that goes. But the attachments work well. This is good for large areas. For cracks and crevices, I prefer this. And then for some cracks and crevices and I need a little bit more surface area, I think I'll use this from now on. But uh, overall, it's great for vacuuming out the car. I think I like it a lot. Hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.